already in the shed too and uh, this will be the fourth and final video on my Mammoth Brooklands Steam Roadster. In the other videos we looked what was in the box and then I went through with two videos, um, only short videos really, and I sort of built the Roadster, built it up. Um, people are bound to ask, it took me about uh, just over three hours on over two days to uh, to sort of build the model and uh, yeah no problems the instructions well, you know can be a little bit tricky to follow but uh, you know everything's sort of quite clearly written down so right in this video we're going to run the uh, model for the first time we're going to sort of fill up the boiler with water and fire it for the first time now it's quite good to know that with the model man would supply you with uh, 20 solid wax tablets which i think is a bit a little, little bit more generous than Walesco uh, sort of supplied i believe the earlier model this uh, roaster came out, always came back way back in 1976 and the earlier model, and my friend had this as a kid and I remember it, it ran on uh, methylated sort of spirits in a little kind of like tray with a sort of a, a mesh diffuser. Now I imagine the problem with that, well it's quite dangerous when you think about it because obviously this model was designed to uh, be sort of used by children under hopefully adult supervision and the thing is with methylated spirits, you know, when it's burning in, uh, in sort of daylight you can't always uh, see because it burns with such a clean kind of flame because of the high alcohol content. So I can imagine a situation where this was probably sort of still burning and kids would sort of pick it up like this to carry it and all the spirit would go everywhere and flame. So it's quite dangerous. So I believe, I think it was about 1978, they went over to the much safer solid uh, solid fuel, fuel tablets. I have got some um, methylated spirit gel on order, which I've sort of looked on a couple of forums a while ago, and a lot of people recommend that uh, they burn a little bit cleaner than these sort of wax tablets here. So I've got some of that on order. It's not in yet, so we're going to start on the uh, start on the tablets and then uh, go from there. They also supply you with a nice bit of sorry, a little bit of lubricating sort of steam oil. I have got some of this for my Valesco models. So what you have to do before you even think about starting the uh, sort of lighting the boiler is that all of the uh, sort of moving parts need to be have a nice liberal coating of uh, oil to make sure all the sort of surfaces are sort of nicely lubricated. And then we've got the uh, just the piston itself the oscillating sort of piston. Now I want to make sure that I can sort of get plenty of oil into the uh, into sort of piston there itself so that sort of cuts down on the friction and also the sort of forward and back lever here very uh, sort of simple design forward and back gear it gear well it's not really gearing is it, it just it just moves the uh, sort of piston up for a different sort of feed there on the steam and reverses it but uh, i want to make sure that's all sort of nicely oiled as well and uh, then we can go ahead and uh, yeah we can fire it i'm really really quite excited about firing it going to use uh, sort of is it called deionized water it's the sort of water that you would put into your car battery uh, I've got, got some car plan water that I use on my models. If you use water straight from the tap, then obviously it's, you get lime scale like you do in a sort of a kettle, uh, and that can foul up the mechanism, so I don't want to sort of use that. So, yeah, really, really looking forward to getting this to uh, finally sort of fire it up and uh, take it outside. But firstly, let's uh, do a little bit of lubrication, make sure it thinks nice and lubricated. Cheers, thanks for watching. <laughs> going to use this is just the stuff that you would use to top up car batteries you know you know when you used to do that you don't do it nowadays quite good in steam irons as well um, just sort of um, stops furring and the build up of lime scale it's, be it's much better than using sort of tap water in these models I really wouldn't recommend that on the uh, on the forums if, if you can't you know get hold of any of this um, just basically rainwater you know just sort of capture some rainwater put it into sort of bottles um, it's much better than uh, what you would sort of get in the uh, from the taps. So yeah, that's what we're going to be using. Right. So just going to set it up on the uh, on the workbench here. Uh, check for any really really bad leaks. Going to expect a little bit of steam to come out from where the piston is because that's where the exhaust pipe goes down. Just blows the uh, sort of unused steam straight out. But hopefully sort of nothing around the sort of uh, 
boiler itself that should uh, sort of be sort of quite secure got the safety valve there as well you might see a little bit of water coming out of that that's uh, that's quite normal right let's uh, let's get the boiler filled heated up. the water got it uh, sort of fairly nice and hot and uh, stop just take it take a little bit of time out of the element of there we go Straight away, I can see uh, condensation in the boiler there. Right, that is uh, that's spot on. So we're uh, full of water there. Just got to put the safety valve safety valve back. Just check, make sure that that's uh, in operation. This just goes in uh, sort of finger tight. Right, I've got a little cloud of steam now, just sort of coming out of the sort of safety valve. It's a little bit early. But I'm a little bit anxious, so I'm going to um, just see if it's, just see if she'll start. It's compressed. You can feel the compression now. Maybe if she, she wants to go. She's off. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Building up speed. Let's try a gear change. Stop. Reverse. Yeah. Wow, she really was faster in reverse. <laughs> Oh, the smell of it, it's lovely. Oh. And that's neutral. <laughs> right, I've got to get her on the ground, see how she goes. Oh, it's brilliant. She's rocking and rolling now with her steam. Whoa. All right, let's see if we can get her to run. There she goes. <laughs> Look at her go. It's quite fast actually. So there we go, she's uh, just sizzling away there. <laughs> it's an amazing sound. Just got a little, the water's getting a little bit low now in the uh, in the boiler, so I'm probably going to have to shut her down in a minute. But didn't she run well? She went f surprisingly quite fast. I didn't expect her to run that fast, to be honest. And uh, even though I had a little bit of hiccup there with the uh, grub screw, run some steam out of her. Amazing, isn't it? So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I absolutely was beside myself there. Really, really excited about that. It's just the, uh, it's just the smell of it and the oil and the steam. Oh, you either like it or you don't. Mrs. doesn't get it, of course. And uh, yeah, that's all the tablets gone. And as I say, my neighbour's started up a chainsaw now, so I'm going to call the, uh, the video uh, an end. But as always, cheers. Thanks for watching Fred in the Shed 2.
on that uh, on that first one. Uh, please subscribe. There's going to be sort of more videos. I might do another video on this at uh, some point in the future, but we're going to be getting some more Steam models. <laughs> it isn't going to end just with this one. But uh, yeah, as for now, as always, cheers. Thanks for thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe if you want to see some more videos. And of course, stay safe. And I'll catch you all on the next one.